Hiya, Bobby. Hi, Ken. You want to go for a ride? Sure, Ken. Jump in. Hi, welcome to Mythologist. Um, it's a super special day because we are doing a Barbie episode today. Um, that's why I'm wearing a pink dress um, and uh, try to do my makeup, uh, put some you know glittery pink stuff on. Um, but basically, I don't know, I just really love the Barbie movie. I thought it was really good. And so I thought it would be really let me move this back actually I think so you guys can see maybe the hopefully the whole scene better anyway um I thought it'd be really fun to create some uh drinks for the movie um it was just a really fun time I, I really enjoyed it um it made me cry too which I think a lot of people uh, had that experience but I just thought the whole I don't know, the whole movie and the whole vibe were just really, really fun and, um, you know, made me want to have some pink drinks. Can I come to your house tonight? So, I didn't create all of these. I created a few, but most of these I actually found online um, and they just sounded really, really good. And I'm going to actually do two videos because this one is going to be cocktails. But then I'm gonna do another one, which is mocktails, for those of you who um, don't drink or just want to have, um, you know, mocktails for whatever reason. And I fully support that. Um, I really enjoy mocktails as well. So we're gonna start with the, uh, the cocktails, okay? So this is the cocktail video. So if you're looking for the mocktail video, um, you should wait, uh, check out the other one. Uh, but if you're here for cocktails, you're in the right place. My eyes. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. So is yesterday and so is tomorrow and every day from now until forever. Oh, Barbie Malibu dream. Here we go. So um, this drink is basically um, coconut rum, coconut flavored rum, uh, cranberry juice, pineapple juice, lime juice, and grenadine. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I feel like this should probably go in a really, well, actually, I'm gonna put this, it's probably gonna be a fair amount of liquid actually. So I'm gonna put it in this glass. Um, and yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay. So I am using Don Q Cocoa Puerto Rican Rum. Um, I've never actually had this before. So this is a new experience for me as well. But um, I think this recipe sounds pretty good. So we will see. And if I stumble a bit, it's because I'm wearing heels and I never wear heels or I don't wear them that often. Maybe like once a week are on the ground. <gasps> okay, so we got our two ounces of coconut rum. It smells nice. We've got our, sorry, I've gotta dig things up. I probably should have grabbed them ahead of time, but I was sort of busy getting ready, so. Okay, all right, found our cranberry. So we got our cranberry, got 1.5 ounces of cranberry. So, um, and if you saw Barbie, I'd love to know what you thought. Like, tell me in the comments, you know, did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Why, why not, etc. Um, Cause I'm sure not everybody loved it, but okay. 1.5 ounces of cranberry juice. You need one ounce of what I wrote as pineapple on my recipe, but what I meant was pineapple. Um, so let me grab the pineapple juice. Here you go. Okay, pineapple juice. You need what? One ounce of that. I mean, I'm assuming this is gets to be really. Um, delicious and tropical tasting, but uh, 
we will find out. Okay, one ounce. Sorry, trying to find the one ounce measurement. Uh, wait, what? It's so weird. I see the one and a half, but I'm not seeing the one for some reason. Huh. Okay, well, um, I guess we'll go to the other side then. I don't know why I can't see that. Um, okay. One ounce of pineapple juice, 0.75 ounces of lime, and for that I'll be using my favorite um, cheeky lime juice. Um, I highly recommend using fresh lime if you've got it, but for these videos, it's just, and life in general, for me, it's a lot easier just to use this. So sometimes I do that. Okay, so we got like three quarter ounce of lime juice and then half an ounce of grenadine. So let me grab the grenadine. And again, I, once again, I do apologize for this um, sort of racing back and forth. Um, I'm not my intention. Ah, where's my grenadine? Hold on. Oh, it just looked different than I remembered. Okay, here's my grenadine. So we need half an ounce of grenadine. And I am using Dr. Swami um, Bone Daddy's grenadine. Grenadine syrup. Oh, that smells very sugary. But um, in the honor of getting what I feel like most people probably get, um, I'm using this. Um, normally, I would buy something more pure. Um, I'm trying to think what the brand is called, but there is like a brand that we really like of grenadine that is a lot less sugary and like fake than what a lot of the, you know, like roses and is very sugary. And this one is, <laughs> I can tell, very sugary, but um, that's okay. All right, so I need some ice cubes and I just made these. So hopefully they actually are, oh yeah, okay. Looks like they did mostly successfully turn into ice cubes. Okay, so we got that. Um, and we're going to shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Try not to get this all over myself because, oh, that's very pretty actually, but I'm glad I used a bigger glass because it does take up a lot of, um, room in here, so. Like some things, you know, aren't gonna take as much room, obviously, but this is pretty large um, amount of liquid. Anyway, this is the Barbie Malibu Dream. It's um, really, really gorgeous. I especially like how the lime juice created that sort of foam on the top. Hmm, smells really good. It smells just like tropical goodness. Um, so, also, I'm starting to wonder if it was a bad idea to do the cocktail video before the mocktail video. The mocktail video may be interesting, just FYI. I, uh, it worked out, but I haven't really eaten that much today. Um, long, long, boring story. But, um, whatevs, too late now. So, okay, Barbie Malibu Dream. Mmm, okay. It's really sweet. It's really sweet which kind of fits with the whole Barbie thing. So I'm not mad about it, but it is very um, sweet, but it's good. I like it. I think it's, it's, it's good. It's just really sweet. So just be aware of that if you're not um, interested in a very sweet drink. There is a nice amount of tartness coming from the lime juice and from the pineapple juice but it's mostly sweetness, and that's probably from the grenadine and the um, coconut rum, which again, I've never had, but is giving a very nice coconut flavor to this. It's, it's reminiscent of, you know, 
tropical. And um, I don't really know if that's appropriate for Malibu necessarily. Um, I'm from California originally. I don't really associate Malibu with like tropical drinks, but I think the um, sort of, this does give you a feeling of relaxing being on vacation and it's pink. So it's definitely appropriate for Barbie. Mm -hmm. I like it though. I just don't know how much of it I'd be able to drink, um, to be honest, because it is really, really sweet. But again, that's all a matter of taste and some people really like um, sweeter drinks and that there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, okay, I'm just gonna wash my mixer out and we will move on to the next yummy, yummy drink. This one actually is not gonna be shaken because it is more of a, like a gimlet or like a, you know, sparkly sort of thing. And you would never, you never ever wanna shake um, uh, sparkling water or anything like that because it will explode. So I'm going to, I really hope that was a piece of dust that like just, okay, anyway. Um, so I'm gonna get a little sort of, I don't know, like a, oops, like a cute glass, typical thing, but, okay, sorry, slammed the door and scared myself. Ah, uh, just a, you know, a cute glass for this. And it's going to, this is the cocktail version, so we are using this really awesome, um, sorry, not that one. We are using, if I can find it, if I'm not stupid. <laughs> Here we go. We are using Oodles Rhubarb and Strawberry Gin. Um, just because I saw it and I was like, that sounds so good. It's pink, it's perfect. Um, so yeah, we're gonna use that. Oh, and this is called a Berry Sparklet. Um, I didn't name it, but that's what it's called. So we're gonna do woo, two, two ounces of gin carefully into there. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, well you can't see, but you can kind of see, but I'll show you in a second how gorgeous that is. And I'm just gonna put the gin behind me for now. Okay, and then we need 1.5 ounces of lime juice. Um, once again, I will be using um, cheeky lemon juice. Did I say lime juice? I meant lime, lemon juice. But anyway, 1.5 ounces of lemon juice. Okay. Um, so one point. And uh, let's see. I guess you could shake these if you wanted to, just the gin and the lemon juice, but you don't have to just because this is more of a sparkler thing. However, with juice, right? Um, with this kind of juice stuff, uh, like any drink we're using alcohol and juice, eh, you know, it's not a bad idea to shake it. It's just not absolutely necessary. Um, let me grab, the oh, it's weird wearing heels. All right, I got the sparkling water. So we're gonna add that to this and then we're going to give it a little stir to make sure all the flavors get together. But you can put as much water in as you wish. Um, and then, assuming I can find my, my cocktail stir, which is always kind of a up in the air uh, question. Oh, I don't see it. Um, okay, well, we'll just use a spoon. Use a spoon. Okay, we'll use a spoon and we will um, stir it, give it a little stir. Just to make sure it's sort of, and now I will say it's not pink anymore. Um, it did lose some of that color because of lemon juice. However, I think it's still kind of nice looking. Um, yeah. All right. Ooh. That's pretty good. It's very tart. I think I was expecting the strawberry rhubarb gin to be sweeter, 
Um, it's really good. It's got a great flavor. It's not sweet. It's very tart. So, um, might be better for those of you who like tartar drinks. But it is good. I like it. I would say I use put ice in the glass if you're going to make this. Because um, it does taste a bit warm and I think it would be um, noticeably uh, better. Not that it's bad or anything, but it would be a little bit better if it were, um, you know, cold. So. Mm -hmm. I like it though. I do. It's really um nice. Okay. And that was the berry sparklet. So now this next one. Um I only have sparkling stuff basically, except for the gin. So I am not going to shake it. So um I did manage to grab the gin. I don't recommend climbing up any kind of ladder with heels. That was kind of scary, but. <laughs> so, okay, what we're making now is called a pink glamour. And so I'm gonna have two ounces of gin, and we're not using the strawberry rhubarb. Just using the regular old Tangeray gin. Ah, oh, which does happen to be one of my favorites, but um, is a, uh, uh, just a lemon dried, London dried jam. God, I don't know what's going on with my brain today. Okay. All right, and then what we're gonna add to it is some pink grapefruit soda. All right, pink grapefruit soda and some uh, lemonade. So, um, it's, a, yeah, it's sparkling Sicilian lemonade from Fever Tree and then Fever Tree um, pink grapefruit soda, sparkling, whatever. So hopefully I can actually get this out. Um, the grapefruit was not super easy to get out. Okay, there we go. Um, yay. Okay. I'm gonna put you here. Okay, hopefully you won't fall. Alrighty, so we need 1.5 ounces of grapefruit soda. Um, okay, I'm just taking the cap. Oh, that smells divine. And we need two ounces of lemonade, sparkling lemonade. Okay, so I'm going to measure the 1.5 ounces of grapefruit juice. Okay, yeah, it's pretty fizzy, that's what I figured. I'm gonna let it die down a little bit. Oh boy, and spill it all over the place, but what else is new? Okay, 1.5 ounces of that, and then two ounces of this, which I just imagine is also pretty fizzy. Yep, okay. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in here. Okay, and again, this is called a pink glamour. I'm just gonna give it a little stir. Um, I mean, honestly, this is mostly just sparkle stuff, so I don't expect it to be very, um, ew, sorry, there's something floating in it, which I think came off of the counter on the spoon or whatever. Okay, I hope. Um, okay, so, Make sure there's nothing else floating in it. Mmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Woo! That is surprisingly very, very strong. Um, very strong gin flavor, which I wasn't expecting. I kind of thought that the grapefruit and the lemonade would sort of uh, make it less ginny, but no, it's, it's very ginny. That being said, it's very good. I uh, like it. It's incredibly boozy. So if you're someone who loves the taste of gin, um, you know, go for it. You'll love it. I think it's a bit strong um, for me right now. But that being said, I could see how it's good. It's just 
very, very boozy. So just FYI. Okay, we are going to make a tropical Barbie punch uh, cocktail. Tropical Barbie punch. So what I need for that is 1.5 ounces of the coconut rum. So I'm gonna use the Don Q again. This probably honestly will be very similar to the uh, um, to the Malibu Dream. It's just slightly different ingredients, but I think it's probably gonna be very similar to the Malibu Dream flavor wise, but eh, we'll see. Sometimes I'm surprised by how things turn out, so it could be wrong. All right, and then 2.5 ounces of pineapple. And this is so common for punches. They usually have a lot of juice flavors in them. Ah, bugger. It's one of those things where I can't really see where the measurements are, but okay. Hopefully that was okay. Um, orange juice, which I have waiting here um, in the stand. Okay, got our orange juice. So we need 1.5 ounces of orange juice. Assuming I can open it. Maybe. I don't, the whole top came off. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Okay, so 1.5 ounces of orange juice. And then 0.75 ounces of sickly sweet grenadine. Yay! <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, okay, that's, uh, so for the next part, I am gonna have to dig out some shim board, and I honestly don't even know where that is, so I'm going to have to locate that. So what I'll probably do is play some Barbie trailer for you while I'm doing that. Okay, 0.75 ounces of grenadine. Super, super sweet. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know where that came from, but um, yeah. All right, so we are on to this. So I'm gonna shake this real fast. Um, and uh, okay, and get a glass for it. Have some sort of fudge. This also, I feel like it's gonna have a lot of liquid. Maybe. Maybe this will work. I kind of wish I had like a bigger thing for it, but you know, whatever. We'll pour what we can in here. Um, not a huge deal. Okay. It's probably good. All right, so this is Tropical Barbie Punch, and I will show you what it looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't know if it, like I said, I don't know if it's gonna fit uh, in here. I don't think so, because there's a lot of liquid. But honestly, I don't think that's a big deal. It's really pretty. It looks very, very similar to the uh, Malibu Dream, just slightly more, I guess, orangey because it doesn't have the cranberry juice. Hmm. Okay, I like that more than the other one. Yeah, interesting. This is really good. I think I like this a lot more than the Malibu Dream. Reason being, it's less sweet. It's more coconutty, and it's a bit smoother. You're getting a lot of the coconut flavor, but it's not overly sweet like that one was. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like that. I really, really like that. And again, that was Tropical Barbie Punch pot, uh, Cocktail. So, good for you, Tropical Barbie. All right, we are on to the, what? Uh, this is a drink I made up called the Barbie's Pink Convertible. Um, there is not a mocktail version of this one. This is only a cocktail. But I think you'll understand why once you hear it within it. Um, okay. But I do need to 
find my sham board, which is probably hiding up there, would be my guess. Um, so hold on, let me find the somewhat dusty sham board. It was up in the cabinet where I thought it might be. So, exciting. Okay, um, so for uh, Barbie's pink convertible, what we need is raspberry vodka. And for this, I got um, this really good one that I've had a few times at various places. It's called Wild Roots. Um, and what's cool is it's actually like red. Um, like, cause some of the vodkas that are, you know, flavored are not actually um, that color. They're like just regular vodka colored. And for some reason, it makes me feel a little bit better when it's colored like the fruit that it's supposed to be. I don't know. It's probably weird, but there you go. Okay. Okay, not as satisfying a pop as I was hoping for, but that's okay. All right, so we need 2.5 ounces of this. Mm, I wish you guys could see this. It's so pretty. Um, oh, and it smells amazing. I'm just doing it here because, oh, I'm on the small side, hold on. Because um, it's a little messy. And yeah, I'm getting red stuff everywhere, so. Okay. All right, 2.5 ounces of that. Oh, it smells divine. And I literally got raspberry vodka all over the place, but what else is new? Okay, we need 1.25 ounces of Chambord, which I happen to love. Um, ah, crap, it's kind of, oh, there we go. I always try to twist this like decorative thing and it turns out it's like the whole thing. So when you try to twist the decorative thing, you're literally not doing anything. But I just forget every single time. Okay, so we're gonna do 1.25 ounces of this. Oh dear. So we got our, got our one. And we got our 0.25, which usually I can see, but I can't. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> oh Lord, I think I'm getting board everywhere as well. Possibly even on my shoe. In the very least, my foot, so. Hopefully not on my shoe, because I actually do like these shoes. Okay, so we got our sham board. We need um, one and point, uh, one and point two five ounces of cranberry juice. Um, okay. That poor piece of paper is getting so hammered with <laughs> various red liquids right now, so. Um, okay, got our cranberry juice, and now we need 0.75 ounces of lime juice. Um, what, oh, where did I put the, here it is, okay. Uh, so, yes, 0.75 ounces of lime. And now, it is an option to put an egg white in this one. I am not going to right now, even though that would be cute. Because, honestly, given the amount of mess I'm making already, I don't really want to add egg to that, well, to that mess. Sorry, heels. However, feel free to do an egg white if you so desire. Just remember that when you do an egg white, you need to do a dry shake. Um, okay. Um, shoot. My ice cubes don't want to come out. There we go. It came out. Okay. Um, alrighty. So, I'm going to shake this and then put it in a glass. So this is also a 
fair amount of liquid, so... But I also feel like something called a pink convertible has to go in like a really cute coupe glass, you know? So I'm gonna put it in a coupe glass, but it might not all fit in here, much like we had that issue with the punch mocktail, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, I got it in. It's a bit of a tight fit. Might be a bit precarious when I when I drink it, but we'll see. This is a Barbie's pink convertible. All right. Mm. Mm hmm. I am quite happy with that. That is so good. It's God. It's really good. It's like the raspberry flavor is so strong because you've got both the Chambord and the and the vodka. Um, but you have that lime to kind of counteract the sweetness and the tartness. Kind of like obviously lime still kind of tart too, but it really I don't know it, it helps a lot and the cranberry juice I think like look how pretty it is it's just very pretty it's not pink necessarily but I think that's okay um it's really good mm-hmm mm -hmm. I would drink that like any day any day that is Really, really, really delicious. Really delicious. Probably my favorite that I've made so far. Sorry, just hanging out my towel. Okay, so I think we only have two left, but let me check. Um, this one I also kind of made up. And it, uh, it's called, he's just a, a lychee ricky, lychee ricky. Oh, now we have three more. <laughs> we have... The very pink lady, which is a take on the pink lady, obviously. But, um, and then Barbie So Cosmopolitan, which is using raspberry vodka instead of uh, the normal vodka, which you would use for a Cosmopolitan. However, I need to make sure I have, um, oh, I do have triple sec. Okay, good. Okay, so we're gonna do, He's just a litchy Ricky. Now, normally you wouldn't necessarily have to mix this, but I'm going to just because it has several liquors and uh, lime juice. And so just for the sake of um, being sure that everything mixes really well, I am going to actually mix it. And make sure that's pretty cleaned up. Okay, now I made this up, and the reason is because I found this uh, li lychee, lychee, can someone tell me how to say that? Lychee um, liqueur at the um, uh, liquor store, and I'd never seen it before, and I was like, oh, that sounds really good, and it's pink, so. All right, so here it is. It's really, really pretty, you guys. See? It's Giffords, and it's called Le Lychee Lee, and it's a product of France, and it's only 18% alcohol, so actually kind of low for a liqueur. But, uh, okay, so we need one ounce of gin, which I put back here. Okay. <laughs> Keep it straight, yo. Okay, I put it back there. Sorry, I was already ready for the vodka. I was like, oh, it's vodka type, but it's not. Um, one ounce of gin. Okay, one ounce of the Tangere, Tangere gin. Um, okay, and then we're gonna put one ounce of this in. One ounce, oh, it's so cool looking. Okay, it's really fun, it's like, Okay, one ounce of this. Ooh, that smells interesting. Okay, one ounce of that. That smells so floral. I was not really expecting that. I thought it was gonna be more fruity. It's very, very floral. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just interesting. Okay, and lime juice, right, I think. 
slime. Oops. Uh, okay, I did not put a measurement down for some reason. So how about we just do like half an ounce of lime juice. And we're going to shake this and then top it with some sparkling water. So that's why I named it, he's just a lychee uh, Ricky because generally gin Rickies are just like gin, you know, I think either lime or lemon juice and sparkling water. So, and it's a play on the movie. Uh, so if you haven't seen the movie and you're like, what are you even on? Um, I'm not on anything. That was sort of the tagline, right? Of the movie was like, she's everything, he's just Ken. I won't let you do just one appendectomy. But I'm a man. But not a doctor. Can I talk to a doctor? You are talking to a doctor. Can I need a clicky pen? No. A sharp thing? No. There he is. Doctor! Somebody get security. So, I did, I'm not like smoking anything. Okay, so we're gonna shake this up. Oh no. Sorry, it's just really sad, my poor male cat. He likes to sleep on top of uh, top of the bookshelf that we have. And the problem is that he sleeps up there all day and then the girl cat um, sort of sleeps on the house which is next to the bookshelf and then he's stuck, he can't get down because he's afraid of her so he won't come down. Oh, this is really pretty. But similarly to the one we made earlier, uh, the pink color got a little diluted, turned a little yellow, but that's okay. We're gonna put some sparkling water on this. Anyway, he's trying to get down now. Normally I would help him, but I'm in heels and I'm filming, so hopefully his daddy comes home soon and helps him. Um, but he'll be fine. Okay, so this is, he's just, He's just a, a lychee Ricky, all right. Hmm. So different from one of the, oh God. I don't like this. The lychee stuff, it just tastes like flowers to me. Unless you like very flowery flavors, in which case you will be thrilled. Blech. I am not a fan, but Mm. And no, it tastes like bath soap. Oh god. Okay, the second one's uh, flavor is a little bit better. I honestly don't think I'm gonna make the next one the very pink lady that I made up because I don't think that will be very good. I could be wrong, but given how it's the lychee blech, is mixing with the gin right now. I don't know about that. Um, the thing is though, the very pink lady would have a lot less lychee, li lychee, lychee uh, liqueur. It would have grenadine. So uh, more gin, more, more other stuff, which could make a difference for that. Maybe it's just the, you shouldn't add so much lychee liquor. You should add like very little of that. Um, maybe I fucked up, I don't know. I'm gonna go and make the Cosmo because honestly, that was really, really disgusting. Um, yeah, so if you like lychee or whatever, I apologize for um, bad mouthing it, but it's not, it's not my thing. I'm not a very, I'm not very much into floral, floral flavors. Oh God, Blech. That's sort of one of the reason I don't, uh, reasons why I don't really like um, aviation gin very much is because it tastes so much like florally to me. So, oh God. All right, so let's just make the Cosmo, okay? And pretend that never happened, but maybe one of you will like it. And then in which case I say go ahead and, and make it, but I don't, I don't want that ever again, ever. Okay. Two ounces of my yummy raspberry vodka. This is the Barbie So Cosmopolitan. Okay. Mm. Okay. 
one ounce of my cranberry juice. Actually, I'm gonna do less. I think I'm gonna do 7.75 of my, my cranberry juice because I think that the raspberry vodka is such a cool flavor. I don't really wanna like dilute it too much. Um, and we're adding 0.75 of everything else, so it kind of seems, you know, silly to add more cranberry juice. All right, so lime juice. And triple sec, which I need to grab because it's behind me, wired. So now 0.75 ounces of triple sec for this Cosmo. It's really no different than a regular Cosmo. Just, um, I'm using raspberry vodka instead of real, normal, not real, normal vodka, okay? It's literally the only difference here. So, okay, ice cubes. Like I said, maybe you should have done the mocktail video first, but that's okay. We will deal with it, um, okay. Mocktail video at least has no alcohol, so there's that. That is an advantage to the mocktail video at this point. Um, okay, I'm going to shake my my Cosmo, but first I must get a glass. Uh, honestly, I don't even care at this point, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna use this. And we are running out of glasses. So, good enough, whatever. Um, so this is my Cosmo, Barbie So Cosmo. Wow, it totally fits in here though, look. That was like pretty awesome, yeah. That was, that we lucked out on that. All right, this is Barbie So Cosmo, it's gorgeous. It's um, actually mostly a pink color, it's kind of a radish color, but whatever. It's mostly pink. Mm. You want this raspberry? Well, because it's just the shit. Anything you put it in, it's gonna be good. Um, yeah, it tastes like a better version of a Cosmo, honestly. Not that Cosmos are bad, but this is better than a normal Cosmo because it has the raspberry. So it has the raspberry and the cranberry and the lime juice and the triple side and the orange, basically. It creates a very nice combination. I like this more than regular Cosmos. Um, yeah, so I would drink this again too. Anything with this Wild Roots raspberry stuff really would be great. I think so, my favorites tonight, because I didn't make the very pink lady, because I don't like that lychee stuff, and I will have to drink it again for the mocktail video, and I'm not looking forward to that. Um, my favorite drinks were the pink convertible and this one because of the raspberry vodka. So I highly, highly recommend getting yourself some Wild Roots raspberry vodka. Um, mm, mm -hmm. Okay, it's really good. Anyway, that concludes our Barbie cocktail sort of video. Uh, if you want mocktails, there will be a mocktail video, of which I am quite happy because I don't really want to have any more alcohol ever again. So, stay tuned for that if you want mocktails. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, right. So, I, I um, started a Patreon. I sort of meant to before, but never really got around to ADHD. I never got around to it, let's be honest. But I started one, and what I'm going to do with that is break these video, this video into separate videos, so you can like only watch the cocktail video you want. But also, I'm gonna post the recipes on there. So if you want the recipes, um, and you didn't write them down, go to my Patreon, which I will put a link to in the description, and you will find not only the individual videos for each of these 
how many fucking drinks did I make? One, two, three, four, five, seven drinks or whatever. You'll find individual videos for those if you just want to watch that. We also find the recipes. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is for the members of my channel, I'm going to also turn this into seven individual videos and put the recipes in the videos. So, um, anyone who's a member on YouTube or a member on Patreon will be able to see the recipes and the individual videos. Um, but yeah. Thank you for uh, for joining me and um, hold on one sec. I gotta find one. Bobby girl in the Bobby world.